my joke to everybody is that if you have a horizon line, if you just draw a line across a piece of paper, you have a landscape. And people will say they understand it, which gives you an edge as an artist because people can relate to the world. I do have the ability to go on fictitious narrative journeys as I'm making these pictures. The thing that is not evident about the process of my painting, when you look at the actual paintings when they're finished, is that they change so much. So sometimes a desert scene will turn into a lush forest. The thing that's interesting for me is I know what's underneath all of these other layers. There are other places that are below them. A layered history, so to speak. Figuring out what kind of landforms below a dynamic sky will work to create an opportunity for the viewer to have an emotional trigger. It's not just about making a landscape that looks plausible or looks good, but it's about creating the proper dynamic tension between the land and space above it. And sometimes you want them to appear to be harmonious and plausible, and at other times I'm interested in making them very different so that they could never coexist simultaneously in a real location. And yet both of them are very familiar to anyone that's, you know, opened their eyes and had a you know, the opportunity to look at the real world. None of them are any particular place, but they remind me of things. And when my audience gets to see the work, I have the pleasure of hearing people say, where is this? Or this is in this place. And I love that. So my, my hope is that the um, viewers sense that they can define where this location is from some sense of their own knowledge and experience or baggage, observations, those sorts of things. It's technically demanding, it's intellectually challenging, it's physical and sensual as well in terms of a process. You have to marry your instincts with your intellect and you've got the challenge of setting a goal and realizing it, living with the idea that you never attain that goal, which is what's so thrilling about it, that you are constantly dissatisfied with what you do and eager to start to explore and understand something differently.